What most of us therapists have to deal with is relational trauma, little t trauma, type 2 trauma, complex stress trauma. And uh, that is not about an overwhelming catastrophic event. That's about a relational theme that gets repeated over and over and over again. Catastrophic event happens once that you can't talk to somebody happens a million times over 18 years. Let me give you an example. Um, okay, so here's a couple. <clears throat> Extreme pursuer distancer. She puts up a wall. They both have terrible trauma histories. She puts up a wall uh, and he gets aggressive and starts pounding, trying to pound it down. Or he gets aggressive and she puts up a wall. You can punctuate it either way. I say to her, uh, when does the wall come down? And she says, well, when days go by and it calms down and he's soft and he's gentle, then we can talk about it. Okay, so that's the solution. L let's see if we can make that happen in a matter of minutes, not days. So now I move to him. Why is he so aggressive? I say to him, and he was this big, burly guy. I say to him, um, I don't know. I'm making this up. But I'll bet on the other side of her wall, there's a little boy in you that feels really abandoned and shut out and helpless. And he goes, bingo. This is, I've got this on film too, you can see it. This is an, this is an exact mm -hmm. transcript of, of what happened. He goes, bingo. And I go, tell me what happened to you. And he goes, well, I was abused as a child. He never said this to his partner. I say, how were you abused sexually? Tell me about it. It was my aunt. What happened? It went on for about four months, about six incidents, blah, 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 blah. How old were you? Seven. Who did you tell? No one. Why not? I don't think they would have done much. So I went back to him on the other side of her wall and I listened closely to the language. How do you feel on the other side of that wall? And he says, I feel like I don't matter. I feel like there's no one there. I feel like no one cares. I feel like there's no one to tell my story to. Literally, he used those words. So, catastrophic trauma, his aunt being sexually abusive to him on three or four specific occasions. That's catastrophic trauma. Does he have to debrief from that? Absolutely. But what about the trauma of not having anybody to tell? That wasn't three or four times. That was millions of times. And guess what? When he's behind uh, this person's wall, his girlfriend's wall, the aggression isn't because he's being violated. The aggression is because he's being shut out. He is not uh, being triggered by his aunt's catastrophic activity. He's being triggered by his family's pervasive chronic neglect. That's trauma. And that's the kind of relational trauma that most of us encounter every day in our offices. Both have to be dealt with, but both have to be respected as traumatic.